Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video. So iOS 17 is finally here. So in this video, I will share with you guys 17 tips and tricks that I believe every iOS 17 user must know. So let's get straight into the Photos app. So we have a bunch of incredible new features and tricks for the Photos app. You probably know that on the Photos app, now you can just like zoom in on a picture and you can actually crop it as easy as that. But did you know that you can actually do the same thing with videos as well? So if I have a video here, I can actually zoom in and I will have the crop button right there, which allows me to as easy as that crop any video that I want. Now this right here is really cool. How many times have you seen like a laundry tag like this and you don't know what those symbols mean? Well, with iOS 17, just take a picture of that tag and you tap the I button right there it says here laundry care tap here and it will show you links to the explanations for each of those symbols everything that you need to know about those now what's really cool is that you can do something similar with car lights so take a picture of the, of the dashboard of your car if you have a light turned on and you will see the i button right here and again auto symbol you tap right there you will have links here to everything it will just basically show you everything you need to know regarding that sign that you have on your dashboard on ios 17 you don't have to read a web page well if you want to you can but you don't have to if you're tired or you just don't want to do that you can now listen to a web page you simply tap the aa button right there and you will get a button here that says listen to page and just like that you can start listening to any web page you want and while in safari if you have a bunch of tabs open and you need the links to those tabs you will see right here where it says two tabs i can tap and hold there and now it gives me the option to actually copy these links and i can go ahead and maybe paste them somewhere like notes you can see right there it shows the title of the web page and of course the link is right there probably one of the best new features of the photos app that i don't think a lot of people know about on iOS 17 is that now you can search even for videos so you know like when you search you search like for text that's on a photo like right here laughter you can see it has recognized uh, recognized text but it also did recognize laughter on video so right here it says 23 so it actually has recognized that voice which we're searching for on 23 different videos and it will show me the videos that i have on my camera roll where there is laughter it's pretty cool just try it out search for any sound like you can think of that's on one of your videos and you will see it will find that video as easy as that on the new imessage app on ios 17 you will find the plus button here where all the apps are you won't find them on the keyboard you will have them here on the side well you will see here the apps but if you think that some of the apps that you use the most are not at the top or where wherever you want them to be you can just tap and hold one of them and you can actually rearrange them any way you like it's not a problem just place them anywhere you want most likely just something like the apps on the home screen like you drag them and you just place them anywhere you want now while on the iMessage app, if you want to just send a picture to someone, you can tap the plus button and then go to photos right there. Or what you can do, an easier, quicker way, tap and hold the plus button here and it actually takes you right to your pictures. You can just simply select a picture from here. On iOS 17, when you tap somewhere like on a blank space where you want to add a text, you will find a new button on the menu right there that says auto fill. Well, what you can do here is tap there and it will show you basically a field where you have three different options previously this was just scan text on ios 16 and you can add passwords and add contact as well so you can just automatic automatically fill from contacts passwords or also scan text using the camera siri with ios 17 allows to add two or more commands in a row so you don't have to add one command and then wait or relaunch it for the next one you can just simply talk as easy as that so you say something just ask her something and then of course ask her another thing you can do that in a row just like that 
Let's move on to the weather app. So when you go to the weather app and you go to your cities right here, tap the three dots right there, and then you will be able to go to units. Now, right here, you will have the temperature unit from where you can actually change. So you can use Fahrenheit or Celsius or use the system setting. And then you will also have the other units for the other stuff like wind or pressure or distance. You can choose basically what you want to use here for each of them individually. As you probably know, we can set multiple timers on iOS 17 on the clock app of iOS, but you will also get multiple live activities. When you have multiple timers set, you will also get the live activities for each of those timers. So you tap right there and you will have a list here of all of your timers. And of course you can control any one of them directly from here. So this is pretty cool. Not just you get multiple timers, you also get multiple live activities for each of them as well. Now this right here is easily one of my favorite iOS 17 features. So let's say I just move this widget right here to the home screen. You just messed up my layout here. I didn't want to do that. I did it accidentally. What I can do with iOS 17, just shake the device. And just like I would do with a text, I can undo here. You can see it brings everything back and it brings back the widget to the place it was. You can of course do this with widgets, apps, folders, anything you move on the home screen, you can just shake to undo everything. Finally, Apple allows us to put our favorite album on the home screen via the home screen photo widget. Now you have a new widget called album. You have actually three of those, the small, the medium, and the bigger one. And you can pick any album you want from your camera roll and just display it on the home screen of your device. Of course, this is way better than just seeing like suggested photos or featured photos from Apple. iOS 17 also brings Safari widgets for the home screen. Well, what you're seeing here is the widget for Safari. It has three sizes and it displays the reading list that you have saved on Safari. Now this lock screen feature is pretty cool. When you go to customize one of your wallpapers that actually has a dark mode and a light mode, now you will have the option here to choose how you want to use that. If you place it on automatic, it will of course display based on the current display that you have on your iPhone. If you're on the light mode, it shows the light mode, or of course on the dark mode, it shows the dark mode or you can pick any of the modes, light or dark, and it will display like that the whole time. It doesn't, of course, matter which appearance you have set on your iPhone. The Photos app on iOS 17 now also allows you to add people to the People's album. Normally, this was actually auto-generated, so you would it would just find like faces from your photos and just place them there. Now, you will also have the ability to actually add people, so it will just find faces that are not in the list and allow you to add them to the People's album. And this right here is pretty cool as well. This is the standby mode for Siri. So if you want to make a phone call, if you're using Siri and you have enabled the setting that allows you to actually use Siri when your iPhone is locked, while on the standby mode, you can ask Siri to make a phone call and it will look like this. You will have the whole interface here. You can mute, unmute, even start a FaceTime call, the picture here and everything. And it looks pretty cool. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 17 tips and tricks that I believe every iOS 17 user must know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you on the next one.